first and the primary tool that we have in conventional medicine to help eczema. Sometimes we'll use oral steroids. We'll use injectables for other things or IV if the kids are in the hospital. We'll inhale steroids. We'll squirt them in our nose. And NSAIDs, ibuprofen is an NSAID, so a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication. What we're going to do with today and what we do with integrative medicine is we start to decrease inflammation from the inside out. We use medication, and that's what I love about integrative medicine, is we don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. We use our good conventional medical tools when needed, and we combine that with integrative medicine. So when you take that overall picture and you start to understand this concept that inflammation is what creates a leaky gut, right? Most of you have heard that term leaky gut, and that's what leads to illnesses. And with this graphic, I just want you to get this illustration of that cup of inflammation that's overflowing can contribute to a lot of these other illnesses as well. The, that chron when our nose is congested, we're mouth breathing, we're not sleeping as well, we might have restless leg syndrome, so we're all over the bed at night and we're not getting that good restorative sleep that is so important for the immune system. And then as we go through those triggers of inflammation and decrease them, that's where we start to see an improvement of all the symptoms. And it's also with the nervous system because we don't have fences in our body when kids' eczema flares up, they can also have more behavior challenges and you know, maybe anxiety, maybe meltdowns. And I'll, I'll share with you about one of my cases where that was definitely the case, and I see that all the time. Moving on to gut health. The gut, you know, you, you all know this. We've got more bacteria in our gut than we have cells in our body. It's called the microbiome. We have microbiomes all over our bodies. And the research is exploding in this area. We're learning so much about this now. So we've got a microbiome in the gut. We have one in our mouth, in our nasal passages, on our skin, in our vaginal canal. And think of it like gardening. Is we, it's not about killing the bad things or, you know, and, and just, just killing the bad things. What we have to do is we've got to give the fertilizer, we've got to give them the right foods so that we promote the growth of the good, healthy bacteria while addressing the not so beneficial bacteria. And this is where restoring digestion comes into huge play. And this is where I think in my clinic, we do this a little bit differently. How do we know when our gut and our digestion is working? Well, we look at our stools, of course, right? We want to look at poop and sit down with whoever in your family is struggling with eczema and really go through this. We want a good, either a snake-like or a sausage-like looking stool. And the other one, that's what's when we know we're starting to make headway is we, when we have one good daily easy bowel movement that's formed. And when that's the case, that's when we know we're breaking down our fats and absorbing them because our fats make up our cell wall. And we're talking when we're talking about skin health, we need the good fats in order to have that really good, healthy skin. Looking at the leaky gut.